All right, welcome back to one of the boss fight videos. We are now going to tackle uh, Martyr Logarius. Now this guy, he hits really hard. And he has, uh, he summons out uh, spirits, executioner spirits. Or they're, they're like wraiths or whatever the fuck I'm gonna call them. But they hit hard and he does a lot of bleed, uh, a lot of bleeding damage type of attacks. Which is why we're wearing the knight's garb since he has the highest uh, bleed protection for us right now um, I think I could actually also use the knight's wig that gives me 60 defense to blood so does the white church hat but I just, I just, I'm just going for drip right now the black the black knight or not the black knight the uh, what's, what's this thing called again the black church hat this looks pretty good um, <clears throat> so yeah let's let's tackle this guy I don't know exactly what he's weak to I'm, I'm gonna assume that he's weak to fire because yeah uh let's see what else do we want to equip so we can get this fight over with uh no i think that i think we're good i think we're, I think we're good all right let's tackle the bausch let's tackle the bausch Also, this guy is really easy to parry. That's why his name is Marcher. <laughs> because he, uh... Because he likes these, uh, he likes the viscerals. He sure loves them. Damn it. Look at that. You can just win against this guy by just parrying. The problem is, uh, don't get hit, otherwise you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Look at that. A visceral without a gun. Almost unheard of. Anyways, that's Martyr Locarius. Pretty easy fight. Well, it's an easy fight if you don't get hit. Once you get hit, you're kind of like... You're, you get stun locked pretty good. And it's pretty, and that's a bad thing. It's a really, 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 really bad thing, guys. A really bad thing. Crowd of Illusions. All right, so this is, this spot is actually kind of important. You actually need to uh, unlock this area to do Alfred's full quest. And to get the to get to Kanehurst Castle, you need to um, you need to reach past the Forbidden Woods, and then <clears throat> and then find a little hidden path along the way that will lead you to like some kind of pool, poison pool. And you go up the ladder all the way, and you'll be back at Yusefka's clinic where you started the game. And then you'll be able to find uh, Cadenhurst's summons, which is for you. And then you go back to the uh, the witch's abode where you fight the uh, the witches of Hamwick. And you just keep rolling, or you just keep uh, running all the way down until you see like a like a a blue. I don't know, it looks like a blue beam. But then you just you just walk up towards it, and then you'll see a cutscene of like a horse coming out of someplace and you get in the horse and it'll be then you'll pop right here in Kaner's castle and then once you defeat uh, Martyr Logarius you come to this room and then you collect the unopened summons and then you have to find Alfred he should be in uh, in Yarnum somewhere or just past the um, just past the uh, the cathedral ward uh, 
He'll, you'll find him on the way to Forbidden Woods, actually. Just go back to the door where you, where you, uh, where you open to go to Forbidden Woods, and then on the, along the way, you'll find him, like, near there. And then he'll come here, he'll kill the queen, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Anyways, I'll see you guys on the next boss fight. Uh, the next boss fight will be, oh shit, who's it gonna be? Probably the Shadows of Yarnum, I, I think. Probably the Shadows of Yarnum. Uh, yeah, that, that sounds about right. Alright, I'll see you guys in the Shadows of Yarnum fight.